Hi there, in this lesson, I am going to show you how to set up your machine for free motion quilting. I have all the details and links about these tools you need to start, so you can check that out and have all these tools ready for you to start free motion quilting with me. So what I have here are the basic tools that I feel is highly required to ensure a great start for free motion quilting. Now you don't have to get all of these, but all of these are explained in the post so you can actually see which one is important. So I have a good thread here, free motion quilting foot the needles and also the glove and you need to prepare some quilt sandwiches for you to get practicing on so this is important so the one I have here is a couple of uh, quilt sandwich that's about 10 by 10 inches and I have a contrast color here I have yellows and also some navy blues and these are going to be one of them is going to be the top and one of them is going to be the backing now I chose two different colors for that purpose is because at the beginning we want to be able to see our stitches really clearly all the tension issues and all that so I have this one for the top and also this one for the back I'm going to be using two different color thread as well for the top and also the bobbin thread so you can also have some printed fabric for the backing now the important of this is that when you get to practice more so you can have a practice on this solid side where you can see it clearly and on the backing side is the printed side where you can't see the free motion coating much but you can be using them later on into a project so you can have a pouch with this side with the printed side is going to be the exterior part and this is going to be useful and especially at the beginning where you want to hide most of those stitches so get this ready and we're ready for preparing it. So let's get started with the quilt sandwich. So I have a quilt basting spray here. I'm going to just spray that over onto the quilt padding. And I'm going to place my top fabric on top of it and smooth it out. So you basically use that sticky part and just smooth it all out. So it's a very small piece. You won't need to just pin or tape any parts because it's a very small piece so these are about 10 by 10 inches and i'm going to spray i'm going to turn it around and spray on the back and i'm going to put the backing on the same way i'm going to just press that and smooth it out and that's all you need you need to do a couple of these and you're ready to go now I'm going to be marking a frame around all of these quilt sandwiches. These are about half an inch away from the sides. Now we want to be quilting within this frame so that it's not going to be too difficult at the edges. Now you want to do that for all of the quilt sandwiches. Next we want to prepare your machine. So the first thing I like to do is clean off all the dust from the bobbin cases. This is important because it's get you prepared with a new clean machine. So I'm just going to do that quickly and make sure you do that as well. So next we are going to put on the quilting foot. So you want to go ahead and put this bar on top of the screw that is on your machine. So if you have a similar one that's looking like this, this is how you put your free motion quilting foot. So basically now I'm just screwing it off and making sure that bar is on top of the screw bars that is on your machine. So next you want to go ahead and put your thread on. So I'm having this large thread on a thread stand which I have a link in the post as well. So you can check that out if you're using this large thread. Next you want to be able to see all your bobbins. So make sure you have some of the bobbins and I'm just going to show you here how to set up the feed dogs. So these are called the feed dogs. So you can see that now it's going up and down and that's what drives the fabrics going front. Now you want to go ahead and drop that fit down so you can see that it goes down. Now it's not going to be able to guide your fabrics anymore. So it's going to be down there underneath the plate. So what you want to do is make sure that the fit dog is down for free motion quilting so that we want that we want that not to be disturbing our free motion quilting movement. So now we are free to move without any problem. So if you don't have that option you can actually cover the whole area with a teflon sheet that has a hole just for the needle and that would be useful too now i have my quilt sandwich under the machine and i'm just testing out so you see if i'm moving without the glove i feel a bit 
difficult to move the quilt sandwich so I'm going to wear a glove to get ready for the first few free motion quilting and I'm going to be seeing you in the next lesson for that so make sure you stay tuned with this mini course and I hope to see you then